Hello everyone, I am the Southern Pacific Railfan, and welcome to the first edition of Engines of Southern Pacific. This will be your typical Engines of series, and you know, I'm, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now, it's about time that I do it. So, this series will be going over all, you know, all the engines that the Southern Pacific has used during the time that it still existed. We'll be covering not only the diesel engines, but also the steam engines too. That includes the cab forward, the engine we're covering today. So, let's get into the video. So, we're going to start off with how the cab forward came to be and its, and its history. Cab forwards were a very distinct locomotive found worldwide only on the Southern Pacific and used over the Sierra Mountain Range as well as the railroad's main line between Dunsmuir. I'm, I apologize for... I apologize if I said that wrong, to Portland, Oregon. If you take a look at the engines, you'd think they were facing the wrong way. This was actually on purpose as the engines' names literally describe themselves, cab forwards. There's a good reason for this. With traditional tr traditional Malay to A82 locomotives, the, the back of the cab is exposed to outdoor elements, meaning that in tunnels, steam could flow into the cab, causing some issues. The Southern Pacific solution? Make it into a cab forward. This made the engine into something really good. When in service, they proved to be way more reliable. The crews were protected from the elements, steam and smoke from the engine couldn't enter the cab. The engines were also quite powerful, picking up thousands of tractive effort to battle the Donner Pass's steep grades. Despite these engines being rather reliable, the only railroad in the United States to have cab forward engines was the Southern Pacific, which makes these engines a lot more unique. The one major problem with the cab forwards was that unlike traditional equipment, in the case of collision, the cab would be the first part of the train to be striked. I actually find this a bit ironic as nowadays all modern diesel and electric engines usually have cabs at the front. Luckily, no such instance ever occurred for these beasts, and they had a very su successful career for the Southern Pacific. The amount of cab forwards the Southern Pacific owned during their lifespan reached up to 256. The final few engines were built around the 40s. Sadly, the engines built around the 40s only, only reached up to a decade of service, due to steam engines going to die out in the 50s due to diesel engines coming into play. After... After the 50s, the cab forwards finally began to die out, and it seems like all but one of them had been scrapped. Luckily, Sun Pacific Cab Forward 4294 has been preserved and now sits on stag display at the California State Railroad Museum in Sacramento. While the engine is now preserved at the museum, it is unlikely that it will be ever restored to operation. We can always keep our hopes up. So, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I was hoping for it to be a bit longer, but, oh well. This is only the first episode of Engines of Southern Pacific anyway. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. It should probably be obvious, but I, didn't actu I don't actually own any of the pictures used in this video. They're all I pulled them all from Google Image Search, basically. But if you own one of the photos in this video, then I'll happily add you in to, as credit. I'll probably, I'll give you credit, basically. I, I cannot speak. But yeah, I'll give you credit. Just, I don't mean to steal your content, but, hey, this is all, this is not, this is not for profit anyway. I don't even have monetization on. So, thank you for watching, and next time, we will be talking about the infamous GS series of locomotives. Thanks for watching and have a great day.